So this is one of my newest works of art entitled Omphalos. It's essentially a self-portrait. You can see uh, some underwear down there and a little mole, or a big mole actually. It's a bit exaggerated. In my belly button I put in an LCD uh, DVD player videotaped a close-up of my eye. It's kind of bloodshot and nasty looking. The eye looks around periodically. And uh, the belly itself sticks out about probably more than almost a foot off the wall. It's made of that expanding spray foam stuff. Anyway, there's a lot of other uh, works of art that you can check out at my website. So go there and click on paintings. You'll see a bunch of new paintings and pieces of art I've been working on lately. Why did I make this Omphalos painting? If you look up the Omphalos in Wikipedia, talks about a couple theories about Adam and Eve. Were they born with or without belly buttons? So was God being deceptive when he created that belly button to make it look like Adam and Eve were born of men and women when he really created them? Some people argue that the earth was made by God to appear to be old. Was God a deceiver when he created the earth to look old, just to fool us? Is there something deceptive about that? Uh, well, it's an interesting question. So I like the idea of an all-seeing eye just sort of staring out of the center of this belly. I'm a Mormon, and many of our doctrines are very novel, one of which is uh, a theory that Joseph Smith put forward about the creation of this planet and this universe. He suggested that the word creation in the Old Testament, Genesis, was actually the Hebrew word meaning to organize. Not to create, but rather to organize. So in other words, not creating from nothing, ex nihilo, rather creating from things that already existed and reorganizing those things. God and Christ together organized this earth. They took an old shell of an old planet coated it with the proper things to uh, create growth and thus basically recycled this planet out of another planet thus the appearance of dinosaurs and ancient things that actually did exist but uh, maybe not in this last 7,000 years they zipped it from another place in the universe to where it is now in orbit around the sun decorated it and uh, planted a bunch of plants essentially Kind of a bizarre and novel idea, but it might account for the appearance of the earth. So there's a little religious take on all this stuff, which you are welcome to take in or ignore.